Is it possible to change things so gradually you can't see the joint? Alice loves me. Alice doesn't love me. Rewind, fast forward. Before Alice, I had no inspiration. But being with her made me want to remember everything we did. I started drawing again, all the time. And it turned into a sort of diary. The very day we meet, we find ourselves back at her place. It's a bit awkward and we end up just playing cards, but it turns out to be a perfect occupation for the timidly besotted. By this point, I always find I've closed my eyes. Still in the romantic whim of memory, I get up to recreate that arresting kiss, but then I'm lost, and I suddenly feel like I haven't eaten properly for days. Where's Alice? So, next day I start keeping track of everything. A quick succession of separate images, which differ only very slightly, will prompt the mind to imagine movement in between. It keenly invents stories to smooth over the gaps, no matter how absurd they may be. What was just a hollowness in my gut before is now wrenching agony. I know I'm about to lose her again, but it's going to be much worse this time. I try to cling to as many details of her as possible, then I bolt for the bathroom. Where am I? Home. I'm ill. No. I'm drunk. I've been to a bar. A club. <coughs> try to forget about Alice and move on. And I've got the time scale hopelessly wrong. She's gone. Final. I try to draw the past, but the future comes out instead. Scene by scene, I plot out the life I hope we'll share. And the more I draw, the more surely I know she's going to come back soon and make all this real. Rejected, I pursue the alternative. To distill some essence of beauty from Alice's image. Until it's as if we'd never met. I'm wondering what things she meant when I spot these stacks of paper. Did she bring all that in with her? Or... Alice? That's the last entry. There has to be something missing.
when I woke this morning with an irresistible desire to wallow in memories of you, the crucial sequence was somewhat awry. And for a change, you directed me. Flipbooks work because of a perceptual phenomenon called persistence of vision. This is where you continue to imagine that you see something for a significant period after it's gone. 